African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation on the 19th of March, 2024. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue to conduct a special military operation. In the Kupansky direction, the active actions of units of the Western Group of Troops inflicted fire damage on enemy units and improved the situation along the front line. The losses of the Ukrainian armed forces amounted to up to 30 military personnel and infantry fighting vehicle for vehicles, two U.S.-made M777 artillery systems, as well as a Czech-made RM-70 Vampire multiple launch rocket system combat vehicle. In the Belgorod direction, Russian units continue to take measures to prevent the penetration of sabotage and reconnaissance groups of the armed forces of Ukraine into the border territory. As a result of airstrikes and artillery fire on concentrations of troops and equipment of the armed forces of Ukraine in the border regions of Ukraine near the village of Kazinka, Belgorod region, the enemy lost up to 40 military personnel, two infantry fighting vehicles, and three vehicles. In the Donetsk direction, units of the southern group of troops occupied more advantageous lines and positions, defeated the formations of the 79th Air Assault. 46th Airmobile Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 118th Terrestrial Defense Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Novomikolovka, Razdalovka, and Georgievka of the Donetsk People's Republic Republic. The Ukrainian Armed Forces lost over 215 military personnel, three tanks, two infantry fighting vehicles, and four vehicles. During the counter-battery fight, the following were hit, a Polish-made Krab self-propelled artillery mount, two Gvostika self-propelled artillery mounts, a D-30 howitzer, and an S-60 anti-aircraft artillery complex. In the Avdivsky direction, units of the center group of troops liberated the village of Orlovka of the Donetsk People's Republic and improved the situation along the front line. Six counterattacks of assault groups of the 47th, 53rd, 59th mechanized brigades of the Ukrainian armed forces were repelled in the areas of the settlements of Pervomeskoy, Toninkoy, and Berdakai of the Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy lost up to 125 troops, two armored combat vehicles, and five vehicles. In addition, during the counterbattery fight, the following were hit, a U.S.-made M109 Paladin self-propelled artillery mount, an M-2B howitzer, two D-20 howitzers, a D-30 gun, and an MT-12 rapier anti-tank gun. In the South Donetsk direction, units of the Vostok group of troops inflicted fire damage and repelled two counterattacks of assault groups of the 72nd Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in the area of the village of Staromerskoy, Donetsk People's Republic. Enemy losses amounted to up to 130 military personnel, a tank, two infantry fighting vehicles, five vehicles, as well as a Gvostika self-propelled artillery mount. In the Kherson direction, as a result of coordinated actions of units of the Dnieper group of troops, the situation along the front line was improved and fire damage was inflicted on accumulations of manpower and equipment of the 65th Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 121st Terrorist Defense Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Rabatino and Piatikaki, Zaporizhzhia region. The losses of the Ukrainian armed forces amounted to up to 30 military personnel, two vehicles, a U.S.-made M777 artillery system, and a D-30 howitzer. Operational Tactical Aviation, Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, Missile Forces, and Artillery of Groupings of Troops of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation hit manpower and military equipment of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in 114 regions. Air defense systems destroyed 143 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles and also shot down 38 multiple launch rocket systems, HIMARS, Alder, Grad, and Vampire. In total, since the beginning of the special military operation, the following have been destroyed, 577 aircraft, 270 helicopters, 16,135 unmanned aerial vehicles, 
486 anti-aircraft missile systems, 15,534 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,244 combat vehicles of multiple launch rocket systems, 8,456 field artillery guns and mortars, and also 19,933 units of special military vehicles. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.